Joining us now to give his point of view, Roy Speckhart, Executive Director of the American Humanist Association. Roy, we thank you for Skyping in again this morning on America's Forum. Happy to do so. So Roy, give me your perspective on why the words under God should be removed and why people should sit out saying the pledge in protest. Well, one of uh, America's founding principles is that of religious liberty. And uh, the addition of under God before the word divisible in the pledge tw uh, twists that notion. And it also uh, twists the notion of indivisible itself. And so in order to fix the pledge, we need to take those two words out. When we do, then it'll be uh, something that everybody could stand up for. Well, you put out several YouTube videos detailing how the pledge, you say, discriminates and have a web page dedicated to your cause. Can you tell us what's the reactions been to your campaign so far? Um, so far, we've gotten a number of uh, positive reactions, some negative. Um, but um, we've gotten kids writing us saying that um, they've already experienced bullying from having sat down uh, and exercising their right not to say the pledge because they didn't want to say those two words. Um, so we're, we're starting to get feedback. Uh, it's really, you know, it had just launched the other day. And so uh, we're expecting that this, as this rolls out, uh, the response will be bigger. We have attorneys waiting to help students who need the help. Uh, Roy, it is true that our constitution says there shall be no religious test. Uh, right. That, that uh, and that really had to do with the, uh, with the uh, establishment clause of the constitution, many scholars agree. Are you maintaining that the mere mention of God in the pledge essentially establishes a national religion? Well, what I would say is that it really discriminates against a group in our society. It, it violates our equal protection laws, which is more of a 14th Amendment question. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is something that uh, by putting that under God in there, it discriminates against a huge segment of society. Yeah, we're a minority, but we're a very rapidly growing one. Roy, being from the UK myself and having not grown up saying the Pledge of Allegiance, I'm wondering what your take is on what exactly the Pledge of Allegiance means to you. Mm. Well, I think the pledge is an important instrument of, uh, you know, pledging one's loyalty to country. And I think that it's something that kids do every single day in classrooms for year after year of their entire public school experience. And that's bound to have an impact even if the one experience one day doesn't, over the years it will. And so I think we have to take it seriously. Roy, you've started this campaign now, and, and I think it's important to take a look at what perhaps may be an unintended consequence. Mm -hmm. Given the predilection of school districts to say, up, oh, suddenly this has become controversial, let's just dispense with this altogether. Right. Is, is there a danger that, uh, that we throw the baby out with the bathwater that the absence of a mention, mention of God or the controversy surrounding it will lead uh -huh. to any number of school systems just going, okay, we just, we will not say the pledge. Right, I, I think that that's a realistic possibility. It's not something that I personally want to see happen. I'd rather see it corrected, uh, but, um, but I think you're right. I think that there's some evidence of this. If you look in um, liberal towns in, the, in New England, you see some of them have already stopped using the pledge as part of their daily practice. Uh, and so I think that there is some danger of that. And I hope that the uh, move to, to correct it is swift. Well, uh, again, uh, you just touched on something. We have about a minute left. Okay. And, and I think it's important not to divide left versus right, but, sure. but right versus wrong. Uh, ostensibly, everybody has the freedom not to engage in a pledge. What I worry about is an honest difference of opinion on faith uh, uh -huh. becoming a litmus test for patriotism. About 30 seconds left, we'll give you the last word. I agree. Uh, there should be no litmus test on faith to be a patriotic American. Non-theist people like Pat Tillman, you know, they, they are patriots too. And we should, we should remember that. And uh, we should make sure that, our, that we don't inadvertently create uh, religious litmus tests for patriotism. Roy, we appreciate your time this morning. We'll continue to monitor this debate as it goes on, and it will go on as assuredly as the, pre as the pledge being recited in classrooms. Your take on this, why don't you tweet us your thoughts at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. Back right after this.